when modifying templates, make sure that the cells you're going to change will not affect other cells within the workbook. There's a couple of tricks to being able to do this. The first trick is just make sure that there's no formula in the cell that you're planning on changing. For example, if I click on this starting cash balance, you'll notice that there's no formulas. And since it's a box, it's probably an input. However, if I look at the total income, you'll notice that there's an equal sign and a formula. Another thing to do is use the trace dependence command to make sure that there's no cells referring to the cell that you're planning on changing. Let's take a look at this income box down here. If I click on the income cell, you'll notice that there's no formula. The question is, is this cell used in a formula somewhere else within the workbook? And if we change it, will it have a negative impact? In order to use the trace dependence function, simply make sure the cell you're interested in checking is highlighted. Then click on the formulas section and go to trace dependence. That will create arrows showing the interdependencies between the cells. In this case, the income cell is being used by this cell, total income. And if we click on this cell, you'll see that it's simply referring to that cell to pull in the name. Now we can check total income to see if perhaps it's also being referred to. Let's go to formulas, trace dependence again. In this case, we get a message from Excel saying that no other formulas are referring to the active cell meaning that it is the end of the chain. In order to clear the arrows, simply go back to formulas and remove arrows. And then you can check other cells. So in this case, let's check the two savings. You go to formula trace dependence. You'll notice that in this case, it created an arrow from savings to total savings. And if I scroll up, it also shows that this two savings cell appears referring to that cell also. In this case, I can assume that I can modify these headings and that subsequent cells that are linked to them will just simply update with the proper text. Now let's go ahead and just look at one more example. I'm just going to clear off my arrows there. Let's look at the headers here for the dates. So right now my template starts at January and goes through December. Let's say I wanted to start with April for some reason. Let's just double check to make sure that that won't have a negative impact. I'm going to click on January. You'll notice there's no formula there, but is anything referring to it? Let's go ahead and check formulas, trace dependence, and you'll see that nothing refers to it. Because of the way this worksheet's laid out and the fact that there's no formula and no cells referring to this cell, I can assume it's safe to go ahead and modify this to whatever I want to. Probably worth mentioning that the trace dependence has a opposite function. I can also trace precedence, which is very similar to just simply looking at a formula. So in this case, if I go to formula, trace precedence, it says that it's not relying on any cells. If I go to one that I know has a formula, and I just go ahead and um, click on formula, trace precedence, you'll see that it will automatically tell me that C38 down here is an input to the cell that I'm currently on.